Uh, I just wanted to, as we wrap up the World Agility Forum today, I just wanted to thank everybody for taking part in this event. I also want to just uh, offer a special shout out to Hugo and David as co-creators pulling all of this together under um, extremely uncertain circumstances this year. It's been a fabulous experience working with you to make this come together. Um, speaking on behalf of Agile Alliance, we are proud to be a core co organizer of the World Agility Forum. It's really essential that we create spaces where we can talk about the broader aspects of organizational agility. How do we bring agility across the organization? How do we promote that learning environment that we need to have in order to be adaptable? And most importantly, how do we make work more humane? Um, I hope that everybody who's here today has been inspired by the ideas that you've encountered in today's con in the conversations yesterday and today. Uh, a couple of ideas that really struck me from some of the talks that I attended today. I think it was Sally Alada who said, I'd like to see agility cross every part of the organization because you're always as slow as your least agile part. And that's why it's so critical that we talk about how do we take these ideas that were brought to us and, you know, sort of consolidate in the Agile Manifesto, but how do we apply them everywhere in our organizations and, and in our lives? Because the other aspect of this that really hit home for me in the last session that I attended, that we have to focus on people. If we don't with focus on the people, there is no future of work. Um, I hope, like me, that you've been, been inspired by the ideas that you've encountered in today's, uh, in yesterday and today's sessions. Sorry, I'm so excited about today. I forgot that there was all this excitement yesterday, too. Um, but I hope you've been inspired by the ideas that you've encountered. And I hope you'll continue coming back for more. I hope we'll see some of the people who we've encountered this weekend at Agile Human Factors and Experience Agile that's happening for the rest of the week. Maybe we'll bump into you at other Agile Alliance events. And definitely next year at the next year's World Agility Forum in 2021, where I hope we'll all be able to come together in Lisbon. So thank you. And Steve, over to you. Thanks, Alan. And thanks, Hugo and David and all the speakers who made this such an incredible event. Um, it really has in this time of global crisis, the need for uh, global agility has never been more evident. And um, I think uh, Hugo's vision of creating an alliance of alliances, of creating um, not just a, a narrow niche, but bringing all the people, all the players, all the groups that see this need to organize work and our lives differently from what's happened in the past, that is a vision which I think is inspiring and it was shared by the participants and we didn't have any fistfights uh, and we were able to see what we had in common but we also were learning from, from our differences um, and I think uh, in covering a huge territory, I mean think about it, we covered the future of software, the future of management, the future of organizations, the future of agile and the future of work. I mean, we covered a huge territory in a very short period of time. And I think as a result of that, we were able to get to a bigger vision, a bigger vision of what this is about. It sounds very simple uh, to have uh, people creating value for other people. That sounds very simple, but this is a, a bigger vision. And I think one reason is that in the past, um, that was not accepted as the norm. Um, Agile was somehow seen as some kind of big minor exception, even disreputable exception to the norm of top-down bureaucracy. Top-down bureaucracy is seen as the default way of running any, any organization and to do anything different. You had to prove the need for an exception. Um, and what we're saying here and what I think is increasingly a consensus around the planet, that that is wrong. That's the wrong way of actually looking at things. From now on, this different way of running organizations of people creating value for other people, that's the norm. That's, that's the, it is the standard way in which you run an organization. And if you want to run an organization in any different way, if you want to run it as a top-down bureaucracy, then that's the exception. You have to justify that. 
but doing it from something that is anti-human and anti-people. And in a sense, top-down bureaucracy is an, a subset or an exception of this different and better way of running organizations. And um, probably Daryl Rigby would agree that in Wall Street terms, what we're doing here is affecting a reverse takeover of top-down bureaucracy. <laughs> we're in charge, uh, top-down bureaucracy. Uh, you need to respect your minor place in the overall scheme of things. And so we're taking an important step uh, here to identify that's the way we should be looking at things. And we have a clearer idea of what a healthy organization looks like. We have a better understanding of what good agile looks like. We have a better idea of protecting our firms against this, what I see as a lethal disease against uh, uh, healthy organizations, which can affect any team, as we heard, and any organization, even one that is strongly uh, implementing the new way of doing things, there is always a chance that this lethal disease will, like a virus, creep into the organization somehow and affect the organization. So we have a vision, uh, we have these understandings, and we need to share them. We need you to share them. And we need to spread these understandings in your team, in your organization, in your family, in your community, your country, all around the world. This is a global problem and it needs a global solution. But as we heard in the last two days, all change begins with a single individual, a single individual who stands up and says, this is wrong. This is not the way things should be. This must change. We must do it differently. And I will start the change here in my world. It might be a small world. It might be a medium-sized world. It might be a a CEO, but some individual stands up and says, I will make this happen and I will invite others to join me on this journey. So that's my call. <laughs> join with us, make this change happen. Uh, let's get going. Let's create a better world. Thanks very much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you so much. Thank you both and everyone that supports us for making these two days amazing. Several years ago, I read, one, well, my first book, it was Agile Project Management for Cam Schwaber. Later, I met the work from Steve Denning, Radical Management, and that changed my life. That was when I said, we need to do something. I need to do something. So today, I'm honored to share the stage with people like Alan, Steve, Daryl Rigby, Howard, and many, many others. So we hope and we wish that this conference makes even more sense today. It was risky to do a conference. I'm sure that will be a lot of reasons why people should attend, but there is also some uh, difficulties. And it could, the COVID that we are having right now, this pandemic situation, and that will create a huge uh, topic that it would be hard to, for people to, to attend conferences because when you are working at home, you're, uh, you are at work, you are attending a conference, you are also at work, like if you were at work because you are online. So for many, many, many other reasons, um, it was really risky to, to do this conference. Nevertheless, even if we only had one person, if you knew that we make, this conference can make a life change on their lives, and that person can take that energy to their company. It's not just be food for the brain and then you go back to your company and all disappear, all will be vanished. We will do it again. We will do it again, even if we knew that only one person, but if that person is really interested and motivated and want to attend, we will do this conference. So that, this is what drives us. And this is this passion. This is what we are really looking forward to do over the next years. I'm sure they will, we will have one million people to see Chet and Howard and Steve and Daryl and Mike Lurie and many, many others. But remember, our cause, our purpose is to bring everybody together with a common understanding of what child really means, that balance that Daryl talked in the beginning of, the, of this afternoon. So I hope and wish this conference achieve their goals by promoting great discussions 
And these discussions don't vanish today. You can take the topics, everything, all the contents will be online. Everything will be available. So you can continue this conversation with your teams, with your leaders, with the organization. So you can continue learning. And that's our commitment to you. So on 2021st, from the 24th to 26th, we will have this conference again, hopefully here in Lisbon, and hopefully you can attend physically. Nevertheless, for the next three days, we always continue with uh, through three more days. It's a Experience Agile Week. We will have Agile Human Factors the first day with the participation, special participations from the Portuguese Armed Forces. Um, and then we also have two workshops happening here. Uh, Navy and Army will do the workshops from the venue and we have um, limited seated. So then we will have more workshops in the afternoon. So we have workshops in the morning, workshops in the afternoon, great speakers, and we have lessons learned from Admiral uh, Gamero Marques here in Portugal. Then we go to the next day, which will be about business agility and what else then start the day with Evan Liborn, which was the president of the jury for the World Agility Forum, and he's the CEO of uh, Business Agility Institute. Then we go with several topics uh, over the day and several workshops, so it's a full day. And remember also, uh, Mirko will be here in Lisbon, so you can attend some of uh, your questions here live in the venue. And then we have Joe Justice, which will have a great, 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 great course about certified Scrum Master with all his experience talking to leadership. And remember, um, he created Wikispeed Car and Scrum for Hardware. So I hope to see you in one of Joe's courses and he will join me here in Portugal soon so we can drive crazy, crazy things and we'll make great products perhaps to one of you. Then we will go to um, Technical Agility Day, and by that time, we also have great conversation that will start with Chad Hendrickson and we'll go all over with this. And perhaps we all has also have a special participation, a special guest that a lot of you I know that resonates with. So we will stay tuned for also for that because we have a special guest that was not announced online anywhere. But if you stay tuned to our Slack channel, you will know who is that person that I'm talking about. So just keep us um, on track and we'll give you more information. So my name is Hugo Lorenz and thank you for coming. Thank you for everything and hope to see you tomorrow here at the, at the venue or the next days. I'd like also just to thank to Agile Alliance, Scrum Alliance, Scale Agile, IC Agile, Mercedes-Benz IO, MSG Life, ICNT and Everest reinventing or transform organizations in an agile way. We, are, we need that support to continue also to pursue this goal and our commitment. Thank you all. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Alan. Hope to see you soon. Take care.